Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica. This is my channel uh, called, well actually, the podcast is called The Worsted Witch Podcast, but I've done some rebranding and my name now on YouTube is my favorite name as a kid, favorite nickname as a kid, which was Mika, so it's Mika Knits. Um, now, it's just a little bit nicer, I think, for me. So, done a little bit of rebranding. Although, I changed my name on, um, if anybody knows about this, I changed my name on Google to reflect on my YouTube channel um, as Mika Knits, um, but then I changed it like a week ago and it has not reflected on YouTube. It's still Worsted Witch, which I don't know, understand how to change that or how to fix it, but anyway, <laughs> until further notice, you can call, uh, find me as Worsted Witch, but uh, it will be changing to my nickname, which is Mika Knits, so anyway. Um, anyway, I'm Monica, I'm coming to you from Washington State. Uh, today is going to be day four or episode four of my Vlogtober series, my little Vlogtober series. My first time doing Vlogtober and it's been a lot of fun so far. I'm finding that it's a lot easier if I uh, film myself throughout the day and then just edit it later at night and then that's just an easier thing to do. So today is Sunday, Sunday, December 12th and I have my coffee here in my cute little fox cup. He's adorable. Um, and today I'm doing a little bit of stuff. So I am heading over to the dollar store here in a little bit with my mom. We're going to um, hit up the dollar store and see if we can find a couple of things that we're looking for. I'm looking for some craft paper for some gift wrapping ideas. So looking for the craft paper. Hopefully I can find it. It seems to be just sold out everywhere and I can't find it anywhere. Um, so looking for some craft paper and some gift wrapping things. And then, um, I think she's looking for some other things too, like maybe like a bowl or something like that. Anyway, so we're going to go to the dollar store here in a little bit. And then when I come back home, I don't really have much to do today. So I thought that I would make this a knit day and I would really try to finish the gift socks that I'm making. So if you've been watching my vlogmas series i am making the uh i'm making two pairs of socks for gifts so i'm making the and i'll insert pictures so you guys can see i'm making the poet socks the poet socks for uh one of my best friends and i am done with the first one and i'm finishing trying to finish the second one i just got to the gusset decreases last night as i was knitting on them so Fingers crossed that I can get at least maybe two or three inches done on those poet socks today. I think that'll be some good progress. And then I'm also making the gingerbread dream socks. Picture there. <laughs> the gingerbread dream socks for my one of my nieces, niece one. Her name is Ava. So I'm making her those socks. Um, I haven't quite gotten to the heel yet, but I'm very, very close. So I will try to at least get to the heel to knit today, but I'm doing those socks two at a time. And so I have to look up in the book. The I'm using a book, um, I can't remember the name of the author right now, but it's two at a time socks. She has two at a time socks and then two at a time toe up socks. So she has two different books and they tell you how to do it. Right now I'm just using the two at a time socks and I'm just using the book to sort of understand how to do two at a time socks. And so once I get to the heel and do the heel flaps, I'll have to do the duplicate stitch with the extra yarn here that I talked about before and make the little gingerbread men. And then once I do the duplicate stitch, then I'll have to do the gusset or pick up stitches for the gusset. and. I'm not quite sure how to do that one to do two at a time. So I will try to, actually I'll try to film that when I get to it. I don't think I'm gonna get to it today cause it's kind of a lot of knitting. That's a lot of knitting. So um, what I'm gonna try to do today though is I'm gonna try to get on the gingerbread dream socks. I'm gonna try to get to the, uh, the heel, 
the heel flap. And once I finish the heel, I want to try to finish the heel flap on both sacks so that I can get started on the duplicate stitch. So hopefully that's fingers crossed. That's where I get today. And then the next video I can show you guys what I've done for the duplicate stitch and how that's been working out. So I'm doing that. I also, just so you know, let me put my coffee down. I started something new. So in the last video, I told you guys that there was a, a person in my life that was like, oh, I want a gift that's handmade and they want a handmade gift. And I hadn't any plans to make this person a handmade gift. Well, that person is my brother. I think we are safe to say that he's not gonna watch this video. So we're good. We're good. I don't think my any of my family members or uh, my two best friends watch these videos. So I think we're good. Um, anyway, I thought, okay, well, let me make him a hat and hats are pretty easy. As I described last time, they're, they're usually pretty quick. Um, and I thought that I was going to make him sort of a chunkier hat. Well, the chunky hats are good and they go up quick, but they, boys don't really wear chunky hats, do they? I don't think so. At least I've never seen a guy wear chunky hats. Anyway, I decided not to make it like in chunky yarn because I thought, mm, not gonna work out. I just bought this acrylic yarn at Joann's. This is the, uh, I think it's the Lion Brand Heartland uh, yarn, which is a DK weight basically. Um, it's sort of chunky, but it's not, it's not quite chunky. It's just a DK maybe a worsted weight. Anyway, it's uh, it's black and it has these little gray speckles in it, these little gray pieces. And I thought that that would be a nice color for him, sort of neutral, just can go, kind of go with anything. And for him, I'm just gonna make a really simple ribbed hat. So that's what I'm doing right now. I am about five inches in, maybe about four. No, I'm about five inches in. I finished five inches yesterday. So I'm I'm about five inches in here. And this is just a simple ribbed hat. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do about maybe, I want him to be able to fold fold this over like this. Um, so I think what I'm gonna be doing is maybe about nine or 10 inches. So I'll probably do another, and I'll probably do another four or five inches um, of the two by two ribbing, which is, that's all that is two by two ribbing. And then I'll start the decrease and I'll just do a really simple decrease. Um, and then this hat will be done. I think I could probably finish this in the next couple of days, but I'm prioritizing the socks. So I'm going to try to finish the socks. Um, so I'm not going to work on that today. I don't think, um, but you never know, maybe I'll change my mind, but anyway, so that is the plan. For today, I will be taking you on my day. It won't be very eventful, but hopefully I'll get some good filming stuff to show you guys. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the plan. All right. I'll check back in in a little bit.
excited because I have a new tripod situation happening here and yeah, it's turning out well. This is the one that I was using before and it's just kind of cheap and dinky. And so I'm very excited <laughs> that I have a new situation. Okay, so um, I just wanted to kind of end this video, show you guys where I'm at. Um, I have a lot of knitting that I still want to get done today. I probably will, but for right now, this is where I started um, today. I started right about here. So I've done a good, what is that, like two inches or so, which I said, maybe it's a little over two inches actually, um, which I said I wanted to do. I said I wanted to do at least two inches on this sock. I have another five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have another 49 rows to do on this sock and then I decrease for the toe. For, and the toe decreases take about, I think it was about 15 rows, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 15 or 16. Um, but I wanted to show you guys because I still have, and if you look at the other sack, see I'm like right about, right past the gusset decreases, which on this uh, sock that's already finished is like, I'm right about here. Um, so I still have this much to do and that's about, that's about, I don't know, five inches or so. Um, but that's all I have to do, but I only have this much yarn left. I haven't measured it, but I'm pretty sure it's around maybe 50, maybe 40 something grams. I only have that much yarn left. <laughs> So I'm really hoping that it's going to be enough yarn for me to finish this second sock because yeah, if it's, I only have one skein and if it's, if it's not one, if it's not enough to finish, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hope they have another skein, but honestly, when I bought it, I bought the last one and I don't know if they're going to have another one. So. I'm a little nervous. I think I'll be okay though. I think it's gonna be all right. But yeah, that's the situation I have right now. I'm hoping that I have enough yarn to finish this, but I wanted to go ahead and end this video here. Um, it was just a day full of knitting. I went to the grocery store a couple of times, which you guys didn't see, but I had to get some stuff. Um, so I went over there and I showed you the dollar store run and that's really it guys. That's really all I've done today. I haven't done anything else. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. I am probably going to finish the next five rounds of this here. Um, cause if you look here, the, this is the instep chart. The instep chart only has 48 rounds total in it. Um, and when I did the first sock, I marked where I stopped um, before I broke for the toe. So I have, I think I'm just gonna finish off these 48 rounds right now. I'm, I'm at 45 right now. So I, I'm just gonna finish off those four rounds and then, and then I'll probably stop and put it down and I'll work on the gingerbread dream socks. Um, because then all I have left to do is I'll start at round one again and then just go to, to round 45 and then that'll be where I break for the toe. So fingers crossed that I have enough yarn. I really hope I do. I think I'll be fine. Um, but cross your fingers for me. Hopefully it works out, but I think I'm going to stop after the next, I'm going to do four more rounds, stop, and then I'm going to pick up the gingerbread dream socks. So you probably won't get to see me work on those today, but I'm gonna work on those tonight and then um, hopefully get to the heel flap by tomorrow. And then I'll do some filming tomorrow and I'll show you guys my day tomorrow. Um, I do have to work, but I'll show you the rest of the day and hopefully I'm already at the heel flap so I could show you the duplicate stitch and what I'm doing for that, so yeah. So that's it for tonight, you guys, and that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and a wonderful rest of the week coming up. 
Happy holidays, everyone, and happy knitting. Bye.